Okay, welcome back to my channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. And today we're going to do a spindle upgrade. Um, in the last video, I broke my first bit. And this particular rotor won't start, won't run. It's got maybe, maybe 10 hours on it. This was a replacement for the one that's in the, it's probably off camera, it's over here. Um, replacement for that, the one that came with it. Get this in here. Get this into frame. Alright. I think we're in there. Okay, so. <clears throat> Step one is going to be to take this one off. Lock me off my feet. Okay, so this is the um, the one with the broken bit in it. So that's two in three months worth of use been four but I took one off being sick for one so there's two of the 300 watt spindles now the this machine came with two holders the one that's in the in the machine for this and a larger one for an upgraded motor so we are going to throw this bad boy in is Makita RT0701C instead of horrible thought I hope this video isn't upside down so in order to do this we need to first Remove that, throw that away. Get rid of these. And we're going to fit that in there. But as you can see, there's a problem. It doesn't fit. So I measured the distance, got the, got the calipers out, measured the distance, tried the uh, can, the thick can, that didn't work, tried a coke can, that didn't work, so I got one of these. Cut that all up. Went all the way around. And I believe these two pieces were what I needed. I made a huge mess out of that. So what I did was I rolled that up. In here, there we go. All right, so we're going to have the cord go to the right so it'll end up in this track. That you can't see. Yeah. Yep. This track here. Um, but first, we're going to clamp this onto the machine. Get you a little better uh, 
viewing angle here. We got the wrench that came with the machine. So I'm going to take this off. That one's already loose. So you see we've got these little clip things sliding the track. I got these little clip things here. Slide up and down the track. And that is what this is going to mount to. So when I find the right size screw, we're going to put that in there and then we're going to move it up do the same on the other side and we'll stuff this plastic back into it okay now we need to find the right size screws for this <clears throat> now, this is what is it? I got a bag of extra parts here All of this came with the machine. So I've got my complaints about this machine, but overall, I mean they um they have been great about sending stuff back in warranty, like the two spindles. So the company itself, the people are alright, but that product is not good. Now, I'm not sure. I know those are going to be too long. That one's going to be too short. So I don't think it's these. I think it might be these. M5 by 10 millimeter. We got more of those little clippy things. Those are going to be too long. There's only one of those. One of those. It's metric stuff is completely foreign to me. A couple of washers. This was all. There's two kits that I bought. One for this initially for the, the for the 4030, and then um, when I upgraded to this 600 by 600 millimeter. I'll try these. See if these fit. This is uh, M5 by 10. I'm guessing. Yeah, it should work. All right. If I can keep them from falling off on the floor. So this came with the kit. If you get the same machine that I have. Uh, you already have these. So we'll grab those two top ones. Not too tight. And then we're going to try and grab those two bottom ones. Should be interesting. Because I can't see them. Alright, I got him. I think I got him. Oh, I got him. 
I have to make a point. Got to make a point here. This fix, this shim, is only good until the end of July this year. No, 2023. So, July 29th, 2023, this, is, this just won't work anymore and you have to find a different solution. Okay, what I've done here is I've lowered the lowered the carriage all the way. So I'm gonna bring this up. And we're gonna I guess we're gonna tighten that up at that height. I guess. I guess that's good. We need to get to the bottom ones too, don't we? Okay, if you're doing this with fingernails at me, this is tearing me up here. Keep catching my nails on it. Okay. So we're going to tighten these up, and that'll be a tome. If I can get to them. Too far, I think I almost get that sinking feeling when lefty, I mean, righty tighty becomes righty loosey. Okay, so we're going to cinch these up. Maybe. That's tight. Bring this back all the way down again. As far as it'll go. See if we can get this back in here again. I'll tell you, this is a process. Okay, now we can tighten up these. This is what holds the it's a clamp. You can see the slot there on this one. Slots on the other side on this one. I'm just going to clamp this in. And this part of it will be done. Imagine you can't, with this little, if you go by the end of this little thing, you really can't over torque it. Alright, so, router's in. Now, what we need to do is we need to run this cable through the track. And so, we'll do that next. Alright, to get the chain open. Get the world's tiniest pry bar and just give it a pop. I'm not going to do them all at once because uh, I don't want the cable that's already in there, I don't want that to fall out. Also, while we're doing this, we need to remove or at least secure. I suppose if I get a laser, I'll still need to use this. We'll leave it in here, but we're going to. Um, we have to tie it up somewhere. Hopefully there's enough room in here for this cable. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So, step one is freeing it from its zip tie. One more over here. Okay, so we're going to I might just coil this right up around the head. Might just zip tie it right there. Yeah, I think I'm going to zip tie it right there. This is I 
I don't know. Find a place for it. Maybe I'll just curl it back around. Aim that on there and just zip tie it up there like that. For future use, that might work. Alright, so we need to what on earth is that? M tag? that out of the way. Put it down that end. Okay, so I think we need to go either all the way up or all the way down so we know how much to leave hanging out. So let's go all the way up. Crash. Alright. Now if we put this in here and snap that first one down. Maybe a couple. Run it all the way down. Ooh. That ain't good. Didn't take into consideration the edge I put on there. I need to move that router up. Okay, so that just touches. Well, it's never going to go all the way down anyway. Alright, so we've got plenty of plenty of cable there. So let's go with that. this. Why won't that snap? There we go. Okay, so we got plenty here. We got plenty when we go up. Plenty of cable. So we're good there. Down, make it a little easier to work on this chain. So this is just going to be rinse and repeat. That one's already open. Come on, there we go. Right, let's change the get past that corner. As I said, we're not doing every one because I don't want it to fall out. Some of these are really tough to snap back into place. Looks like these, these must have been 3D printed because they, they've got that cheap plastic look to them. OK. 
Okay. Now the head's in the way. We can keep going. Got to feed the plug through here too. Off there. Right, now I can finish this up. Where are we? And this one. Something I'm going to do here is because this chain is too long. So I'm hoping that I can take out a couple of links while we're fiddling with it. I think it was three that we need to take out. So that one will stay. I think these three need to come out. So to do that, Get in behind these. I think I got to get in behind these. There we go. All right, so two, three. So if I get in behind this one, maybe. Not easy. Especially, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Take those three out. I should still have enough for full travel, so we're going to find out. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to go all the way to the right. Because this was sticking out way out here. Make sure nothing binds up. That is the limit. I'm thinking we could probably take out two more. But that's a vast improvement, and the, the uh, can't see it, but the cord is also sticking out. So I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, we got the we got the three out, so which is actually two. I should take out one more. Yeah, one more would have been too much. The uh, dots aren't lining up, so let's stick with the, stick with what we've got. Call it good. We'll put these in the spare parts pile. We'll put this in the spare parts pile. All right, so my plan eventually is to make an enclosure for this, and having it sticking out way out to here wasn't uh, wasn't making my job any easier. So eventually, this is going to get closed in. But right now. We have a little bit of cord. I need to put a power supply in here. In the, um, what you call it? Power strip. And you can't hear me over the air compressor, probably. In a future video, we're going to. In a future video, we're going to change this so it's automatic. And that's going to involve cutting this cord. But for right now, we're going to have to use the manual on and off switch. And I need this to be able to reach. They don't, they don't make these like they used to. How kind of crap is this? There we go. All right. 
I'll probably put this over here or in here. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, let me get that wired up and then we'll give it a little test drive. Got a couple of screws in here. I would have used drywall screws, but um, drywall screws don't fit because, you know, communism. I'll snap that in there. Hopefully, plug this in here. That'll give me an on and off switch for my router. Okay, let's give it a try. Wow. It's a big difference. Big, big difference. Okay, so that is how you upgrade from broken effective motors. That's how you upgrade from the 30, 300 watt, I think it is, to one and a half horse, something like that. I don't know what the wattage is, but uh, it's considerably more. Now, unfortunately for me, this only has a half inch collet on it, so all those bits I just bought, I can't use them. Come on. Yep. See? Ain't gonna work. So I gotta go buy some bits. Alright, until next time. Keep working.